Hey guys, what's up? This is Swifir, and today I have with me uh, a fidget cube, as you can see here. Uh, this is one of the critical success uh, stories in Kickstarter, and uh, it, it got a lot, lot of uh, views and a lot of, of money. Uh, people wanted to buy this. Uh, what I have here now, if you look at the title, this is actually a imitation uh, product. Um, and that's the problem, right? If once you start uh, manufacturing in China or or use the factories in China or something like that, if it's a product that's successful, people's, people are going to copy. And this is what happens, right? You have imitation uh, and you got this here, right here. Now, I'm not uh, advocating you to buy an imitation, but uh, I just want to see what it is. And I didn't get my hands on the uh, Kickstarter, uh, the promotional, pr promotional price. And uh, I don't think that the the money is worth paying for. Uh, honestly, uh, it's an interesting product, uh, nonetheless. But uh, uh, for the amount of money, uh, no, not really, right? So this here costs about uh, half the price, I believe, or maybe one quarter the price of the original one. Uh, in terms of quality of this, we're gonna check it out and see how it is. But otherwise, uh, you can see here this is actually a cube that is meant uh, for people who cannot stop fidgeting, right? Or they have to do something with their hands uh, or whatnot, right? So you have different things here, uh, which we'll, we'll look through later. You have a clicking uh, kind of things like buttons. You have a spinner, a spinning wheel. You have the glide. I believe this is the something like your analog stick. You have roll, uh, you have I have no idea what this is. So yeah, <laughs> you can use it in your work, your class and home, fidget cube. The whole idea is that uh, for people who want to uh, play with something in their hands, uh, a cube like this will help you definitely uh, in the sense that uh, the sound is reduced so you don't disturb people and you have a lot of things you can play with, right? So if you want to buy this, I'll put the link to the original uh, manufacturer product uh, in the description. Uh, but if you want to look for an imitation one, you just have to look at uh, your usual places, right? Like eBay, AliExpress and whatnot. Uh, so this is the fake one. I'm not sure how the original one looks like. So all the packaging and whatnot. Uh, but uh, this is what you get in the imitation one, right? Product warranty. Uh, all these are basically useless, right? How do I use it? It's simple. Blah, blah, blah. Right, let's just take a look at the product itself. So you can see here, this feels a little bit cheap. Uh, I'm hoping that if, if for the price I paid for this, right, this is definitely okay. But uh, if we are talking about uh, if the original one uh, is actually feeling like this and costing the price that it is currently selling at, uh, then probably not uh, so much a good deal. So anyway, here is the different things that you can do with it. Uh, so this is the first one. This is something like an analog stick. So you can play around with that. Then we have the roller thing as well. So you can roll. Or you can, yeah, you can. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably not gonna play a lot of this because this makes your finger quite rough. I I think it's quite the friction to do to spin this stuff. It's kind of painful. Uh, so we got that. Then we have nothing here. Uh, this is the a a a DAO kind of thing, a DAO. Um, yeah, if you just keep spinning it, it feels okay actually. And this is the switch button switch. Yep. Um, what else we have? And the clicking ones, right? Clicking buttons, <laughs> right? So the whole idea is that you hold one of this, and you can uh, be in class and start, you know, clicking, or you can start. Rolling the ball, you can start playing with analog sticks, so on and so forth. Some people really need this. Uh, it's true. I've seen it with my own eyes. I personally don't. Uh, I don't fidget a lot, but uh, for those who need it, this is actually quite an interesting product to keep in your pocket and whatnot, right? Uh, so this actually comes in various different colors. I just chose one that is very, very simple, uh, the all black one. If not, uh, it comes in many, many different colors and combinations that you can choose from. You can look at their website to find out more. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, fidget cube, right? The fidget cube, yeah. Uh, and yeah. That's about it. I just want to share with you this little product I got. Uh, once again, I'm not advocating that you buy the imitation product. But uh, yeah, for those of you who are just interested to look at what this is, uh, 
you can actually just purchase one like that. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys again uh, very soon.